So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to achieve this somewhat glass skin type of look but with a twist. It's almost like a little bit of a calm down glass skin but maintaining all that glowy, plump luminosity that we all love. And this is the video I partnered with YesStyle. All the products that I'll be using in this video are from YesStyle and I do have a promo code going on right now if you guys want to check that out. So definitely take advantage. So to start off, I'm going to be cleansing my skin using the Beauty of Josun Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. I really like this cleanser because it's nice and fresh on my skin. It's not super drying on my dry skin and I just feel like it lifts enough of the dirt and grime from my skin without stripping it. Following that, I'm gonna go ahead and move into an exfoliator. I'm using a chemical-based exfoliant because, again, I have dry, sensitive skin, and I find that this one from Axis Wide, the PHA Resurfacing Glow Peel, is excellent for my dry, sensitive skin. How this works is it has a 10% PHA in it, which is one of the more gentler forms of chemical exfoliant, and also has that papaya fruit extract and cucumber fruit extract, which, again, it's just using like that enzyme to help remove the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin. So you can actually see the before and after. My skin looks a lot brighter after using this and cleansing. So I'm starting off with a brighter base. Now, since I just exfoliated, I like to add a little something back into my skin. I like the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mousse and Power Essence. I'm on and off this all the time. I find myself going back to it because my dry skin again loves it and it's very good for barrier recovery. And then this is the secret for layering on skincare for moisture. I get this question a lot because I know a lot of people have issues with pilling or products just not laying nicely, but this is where an emulsion comes into play. And this is a tricky product category because I know it's hard to figure out where it goes, but essentially this is like a light watery lotion. So it layers really nicely. And this one from Etu, the Soonjung 10 Free Moist Emulsion is super nice for this purpose. And then following that, of course, I add on a moisturizer on top. This is optional, but since I'm going for a more luminous type of cloud skin, I like to use this one from Make Prem. Again, this is another one of these products that I'm constantly on and off with my dry, sensitive, eczema-prone skin. And this one is a nice, simple, moisturizer that I feel lays really nicely for the daytime and I can also apply this on thicker for the nighttime so just a very versatile moisturizer and since we're going into the day I've of course had to apply a little bit of an SPF the beauty of Joe Sun relief sun rice and probiotics need I say more I feel like I see this all over online TikTok, everywhere it's a very nice and brightening type of sunscreen brightening meaning the ingredients because it is rice based and yeah just super smooth it doesn't have a heavy white cast and it feels really light on the skin one of the things i personally really like about this sunscreen is it contains niacinamide which is really great for brightening up the skin tone and it couples really nicely with other brightening ingredients like vitamin c and you can see my skin's not overwhelmed with product it's not sticky it's not pilling so it lays really nicely sticking with the brightening the skin type of look i'm going for i'm going to be using the sam cover perfection tip concealer in their peach shade the reason that i'm opting for this shade is because it's going to help counteract the dark circles underneath my eyes and i just find that for my like more tanner complexion for korean beauty this helps brighten the under eye area in a way that looks more natural on my natural skin tone so i first use my fingers to blend it in and then i use an air puff to really press it into the skin this helps with laying it down nicely and it not emphasizing any fine lines on my under eyes and i just kind of work it into my skin so you can see it kind of diffuses and lifts my eye area and i just really like how this makes my skin look more sculpted following that i'm using this cushion foundation from javan de sol this is the wink foundation and this is actually the one that's considered more semi-matte and the reason that i'm opting for this formula versus their glowy formula is because i don't have to set this and it still has a bit of a glowy velvetiness that kind of gives you that glass skin effect without feeling like it's slipping and sliding all over your skin because as you're going to see in the next step when i apply my powder i'm very sparse with my powder application <laughs> like i said moving on to powder i'm using this one from mcqueen and this one in fact has a bit of a brightening aspect to it as well kind of hard to tell on camera because it is getting a little blown out but this does have a light pinkness to it so I'm just applying this under my eye with a flat foundation brush this is my favorite method for applying powder under my eye because it doesn't cake up the powder contrary to what you think this would do but it just helps fill in the areas that need a little extra powder like the fine lines and wrinkles without emphasizing them next I'm using this brow pencil from Peripera this is just something 
I don't know, I'm not doing anything really fancy here, but you can <laughs> see that there's a difference between my two brows. I'm basically just like naturally sculpting out my brows, following my natural brow line. And this is an opportunity if you wanted to do more of a straight brow, you absolutely could. I just don't think I can pull that off, so I'm just sticking with my natural brow arch. And then I'm using the Clio Extreme Gel Presso Pencil Liner. And I'm using the shade six, which is one of my favorite shades. And I'm using this kind of sloppily along the lash line and then taking a makeup brush to just smudge it in between my lashes. Now this is going to be kind of like an underpainting of my eyeliner. So I don't necessarily have to be super precise, but I am kind of shading where I want like a natural shade to go. And I'm elongating my eye a little bit at the end. So I feel like it's kind of easier just to watch and see what I'm doing than me try to explain it, but yeah, I just really like how the warmness of this kind of brightens my eye color since I do have dark brown eyes. So this makes my eyes look a little bit more honey colored. It makes my eyes look a bit more longer. And again, since I'm kind of using an underpainting technique, it just makes it look like my natural eye shape. And I do run it under my lash line, just a teeny tiny bit on the lower side. I love the Love Beam Cheeks from Lily by Red. This shade is in French Marsala. And this is kind of what I mean by underpainting because I'm going right over that eyeliner with this blush color. And I'm using the blush color as an eye color because I'm gonna be fading and melting the two together. And I just find that this gives a very pretty look. I'm just super into these warmer, redder tones. And I think Korean beauty trends right now are kind of fluctuating in between like these types of shades, like the more redder, warm undertones and cool tones, like kind of more lilac-y tones. So this just seems to work best for my skin tone since I do have a warmer undertone, I'd say. But you can see I'm really diffusing this and just kind of blending it almost towards the temple because when I go into applying my cheek color, again, with the same blush color, I'm just gonna be stamping it on my cheeks. And again, this is because I didn't set that area with powder. So I'm just kind of applying it exactly where I want it to go and then using a clean angled blush brush and just diffusing it out. So again, this is kind of where that glass skin twist comes in is because I'm using a lot of diffusing techniques that you would see in cloud skin to kind of make my skin look filtered, but still glowy and dewy, if that makes sense. So again, just kind of working it into like my hairline and my temples and kind of where I applied it on my eye and also the top of my nose. Finally, with my eyes, I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm not doing anything fancy here. So again, pretty much very self-explanatory. Finally, I'm gonna be applying the Shalala Lip Balm from Corinco, and I love this. This reminds me of the Dior Lip Balm a lot because it kind of adjusts to your natural lip tone and just emphasizes glosses and plumps the lips up. It's very easy color to wear and yeah, so overall this is the look as you can see as I'm kind of moving my face back and forth. You can see the glow that my skin has, but it's not overly wet. I find this very wearable. And so yeah, this is my makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, take advantage of that Yes Style coupon code, which I'll put in the description box below. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.